How many of you mamas have a baby in heaven? I can't wait. I can't just see Rose. It's a seer. Can't wait. How many of you have a parent in heaven? Yeah. I'll tell you, there's something about seeing a, a sibling or a brother or sister. I, I just can't wait for heaven. The book of Revelation says some things. And I'm going to read it from the New King James Version. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. Two things. A new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. You're thinking, what does that mean, heaven passed away? Do you remember the scripture that said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words will never pass away? There will be a brand new, a brand new earth one day. Now, when we look at this earth, it definitely has a lot of garbage, trash, chemicals, nuclear waste, disease, and just a lot of things that I think is still beautiful. The earth is still beautiful. But apparently, God will not. And after a thousand year millennial reign, which we'll read, he is going to make the earth brand new. And he's going to burn it with fire. And start over. Now, it's a very different description. But how could there be a new heaven? First of all, there's three heavens. There's the heavenly, that if you go outside in the atmosphere, you can see the heavens above you. Beyond that is space. And you can that is the second heaven. In the third heaven, it's where God dwells. So the first heaven, it's going to pass away. What you know now, you know, it's beautiful out there today. So beautiful, the, the blue skies. And then I saw six chemtrails across the sky, six jets shooting their chemical sprays today. I'm like, really? You just wrecked the blue. You will not... Literally, you will not see anything but perfection. A brand new heaven. A brand new earth. This new heaven that you see is going to come down from the third heaven. And it's going to touch earth. So we're going to take you that way. Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven, and the first earth had passed away. Also, there was no more sea. There will not be oceans and large seas. There'll be lakes, streams, and rivers. And I don't know if God is doing that so there's more room, because there are multiple Millions upon millions upon millions of people in heaven. And nothing will divide them. Nothing is going to divide them. Not an ocean is going to separate them. There will be no continents. It will be one earth. And he is going to fashion it. That's a little hard to understand. I'm used to the oceans. And I'm used to different bodies of land. They will be joined as one. But I can guarantee you that God's been thinking this one through. He knows how he made earth. But you have seen nothing like the second earth. The thing I hate, and I don't like this. When people take a photo of something... And then they enhance it and put a filter over it so the blue becomes like turquoise. And you know, when you look at the picture, you guys know it's fake. You've seen them. You look at it and you go, you know, everybody can Photoshop nowadays. You can make yourself look 
thinner. Chris is on Facebook tonight. She's got a, a thinny little face with a little app. You can change everything. You've never seen a blue like the blue in heaven. You've never seen a green like the green of heaven. Remember, Jesse Duplantis says, you've never seen colors like these. In fact, some colors we don't have on this earth, and he, can, he can't describe them. They're that beautiful. So here's John, and he's standing there, and he says, And now I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Also there was no more sea, and then I, John saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. So, heaven is an actual place. It is somewhere in the atmosphere. Astronomers have tried to find it. They know there are black holes that they can see in and see light, but they have no idea what's in them. Telescopes cannot see far enough. Technology cannot define where heaven is. But I'm most assuredly it's there. And it's beyond what we can see. In the middle of heaven is a 1,500 mile cube. 1,500 miles across. The depth is 1,500 miles in. 1,500 miles wide. It's solid. It's called the New Jerusalem. And in it is the throne of God. It's where God's throne is. It is exquisite. So as we describe this,